Hello everyone, this is Mouth Maker, just StarCraft Star Battle. This is a 6 on 6 ship putting action game, starring a Lion in Cage. Lion in Cage is going to come on in there, he's going to get some upgrade at some point. Let's see, he's got that explosive charge, um, plus one speed as well. You can see he's going to go in there, Electric Magnetic Storm Opener, uh, 300 energy potential. Luke, uh, 5 upgrades on his laser batteries, can definitely one-shot farm, even one more than one-shot farm. If there's a carrier, he's in very good shape. Um, we got uh, Alpha GC. Alpha GC is going to come on in there, uh, burst lasers at 4, uh, and a little bit of extra speed as well. Can one-shot farm. Agrippa, got that plague. Um, looks like this is... Uh, probably, probably one more person on the other side, but opposing them, they have Back to Lobby. Back to Lobby's gonna come on in there with his, uh, blue, uh, Overlord. Gonna have Contaminate, um, a little bit less, uh, standard than a Plague, however, it costs a little bit less energy, and, uh, kind of slows down, uh, other units in the area, so it is another choice, um, which isn't as energy, as intensive as Plague. Um, it looks like, uh, Versailles is gonna be in there with that, uh, Terran ship pleading at one, Shields at one, and, uh, Gatling Cannons. Beautiful plague being used on Stinky. Stinky, the uh, the, uh, the the frigate right there. Range uh, looks like he's got some range and speed. Pushing back uh, Alpha GC, Agrippa, and uh, everybody else is trying to uh, attack Versair, who did dive in there and uh, is going to be uh, you know trying to take as much damage in the farm uh, while he can. It looks like uh, Tamei is going to be back there. Tamei the Boy Ray is uh, has. Uh, 1.86 speed, no other abilities, so he has more money for phase disruptors and prismatic beam. Pr Lion Cage is going to be using his uh, his explosive charge, doing that extra damage. However, there's so many people on him right now. We got Versair doing the Michael Jackson moonwalk, backing up right there. We got Parasite. We got a uh, you know force field being used to block some uh, you know of the attacks in the area. Get OC moving in there to give that shield. He can't use his his ability because he uh, has to choose that he wants to protect his allies. Could it be all pushing up there right now? Trying to uh, take out uh, Lion and Cage is not going to be quite enough. Luke is going to be pushing up there. Stinky flying away. He can uh, be healed by Parasite, but Parasite also has a uh, force field and wants to use that to protect his allies. Uh, Tanae flying in there, uh, trying to do some damage against whatever he possibly can. However, he's a Void Ray, and Void Rays are very low health, so even though he does a lot of damage, he can't stay in there for very long. Uh, Versair moving back. Stinky making it back to base. We got a, uh, you know, he's going to burn down slowly. He will make it back to base, though. He has about, you know, 1700 right now. Dark Command, Dark Command, uh, gonna take a little bit of damage. He's got tentacles in the Bile Swarm. Again, tentacles can never be uh, uh, extended, uh, so five range is all you have. You have to get pretty close. That does put you in the uh, almost the, the explosive charge radius. It's three. It's very short. It's not quite touch, but it's uh, not quite as far as uh, you know as five is right there. It does a uh, 200 uh, damage plus a thousand to massive. Uh, so it does 200 damage to things like, I don't know, scouts and, you know, whatever else, um, but also a thousand damage. It just is a, a commitment. The Dreadnought is a, uh, tank, usually, right? Um, however, this adds damage. Damage is great, you know, trying to balance out. You're not, it's not rock, paper, scissors. You do want to have everything. However, he doesn't have repair bots, so he has to get on back to base. Red side. Using that advantage, the farming is actually exactly even, which means that the blue side has a slight advantage uh, because they are on the attack and they're all healed up. Red side making it making it uh, you know back to base as uh, without taking too much damage. Blades of Coro, Coro, Blades of Coro has um you know 1.61 speed has that expo uh, electromagnetic storm as well, and it looks like he's going to have 172 to spend it on. Uh, 483 from uh, the dreadnought right there. Alpha GC 143. Uh, Luke 256. Ghetto, 313, and uh, Agrippa, uh, 650 almost. Trying to take out uh, Timmy, uh, Timmy. Uh, will they be able to do it? They have so many support ships. Ooh, swing and a miss on the, uh, on, the, um, on the plague right there. It was going to hit, he blinked, he blunked just in time. Uh, Alpha, GC, Alpha GC does not have blink because he's a raven and can't uh, you know, do, do the same thing. Versair. Gonna, gonna try to do some damage, but not enough to uh, really uh, threaten him for very long. Blades of Koro, kind of out, out of position right now. Uh, the entire the, the uh, you know uh, blue side is gonna try to go to him, but it looks like a uh, Lion and Cage is gonna move on there as well. Uh, he's going to be uh, you know contaminated right there. Slowed down how much damage he can do. He does have the explosive charge. He has the V25 to support it. It only costs 50, and it's relatively quick, so we can just keep on using it. And they have to they can see it, but they're gonna run into it anyway. Um, because it's just, you know, in, the, in their general battle location. If you put if he puts it directly on uh, Dark Command, it does explode on him. Uh, looks like Stinky's gonna fly in there. 
five backlash rockets. He knows he's a damage dealer. He's going to try to use that, uh, that as much as he can. We have Lion and Cage pushing up there. Uh, these uh, House of Tempest just pushing him away and uh, does scare off the red side. They don't want to commit to uh, that much of an attack right now. We got to see giving as much shield as possible to Lion and Cage uh, and flying up there to do some damage against these Tempests. And then he gets caught uh, by, by the Void Ray and the Tempest and the, uh, using the Roxas protection. The Tempest can't see them and the Antene can uh, see them as well. Uh, you break the line of sight. The very little uh, bit of um, you know, uh, terrain right there is going to be helpful right now. Looks like the uh, red side is going to try to push on up there. Uh, get OSC flying around the side to me, trying to farm as well, trying to do some damage. He can one-shot farm. He's in a great position. He's got 500 already. That means that the red side is going to have to get on back there if they want to try to stop him. It's always a question because the void rays are very sneaky. They can blink out. They're pretty quick. However, if you just let them farm, then they can get really out of, out of uh, touch right there. Um, and it looks like Apple Juice uses a fantastic EMP to uh, stop Timmy from blinking. He doesn't have very much, very many shields or uh, uh, any, very many, uh, you know, energy to support it. So that that EMP takes all of his energy away. Blades of Koro flying around <laughs> in the danger zone. Uh, looks, looks like a, a warp in from the, the Dreadnought right there. Going to push them up right there. <laughs> it looks like back to lobby. He's going to fly around the side. We got Lightning Cage diving in there. Hitting, uh, hitting uh, Stinky right now, using that explosive charge range, which is very limited on uh, Stinky. Will they be enough? Yes, it just barely hits him, and then the right side has to make that save on him. Uh, looks like Gnosis is in the position right now. He uses that electromagnetic storm, and now he's out of energy. He can't use the electromagnetic storm anymore because he wants to give all that possible remaining energy to Lightning Cage. Lightning Cage is about 4,000 uh, health right now, 24 base armor. And Dark Command moving in there. Tentacles 28 is hitting them very slowly, doing that damage. We got uh, Tene also has enough energy to do that. He uh, turn around from get a uh, lion cage, gonna hit on Tene, and it looks like there's so many shields on him. He's just gonna keep on trying to push, keep on trying to push. Well, he be able to take him out. That's two kills from lion cage right now. Pick up the void ray as well. Looks like Luke flying around has the missiles, has the 1.82 speed, just kind of adding some uh, base, uh, you know, damage to the to the team right there. Dark Command moving back. He has uh, rapid regeneration. He doesn't want really, to. Uh, he doesn't have enough energy to support it all the time. He just a few. He has only 275 right now. Parasite, giving shields, giving love, getting a plague for his for his troubles to uh, try to help out Versair. Versair has the repair bots. Looks like back to lobby. Spends his money right there. We got Dark Command 67. That's because he's a Leviathan. He has the infield, uh, you know, evolve upgrades right there. He doesn't have to go back to base to spend it. Uh, the only thing he has to go back to base for it is a. Uh, you know, uh, installations, evolutions, basically the fancy cool stuff right now. He only, he only already has a uh, rapid regeneration that's pretty decent, and he has just, you know, everything else that goes to speed, damage, all that stuff. Back to lobby, moving in, trying to make his attack. Looks like they have one, two ships already plagued. He wants to get even more. Doesn't want to commit too much. His 500 potential energy, the more time he goes around, is uh, the better. He has a little storm for his efforts. He uses that um, cypher energy to start getting back. Uh, all that right now. He wants to do the damage. The red side is cautious of that. They're going around, going around the side. Luke is going to fly over to the to the uh, left. Uh, Agrippa is going to fly up to try to farm a little bit more. He's got that plague. He's got that side blast. Not in that order. Uh, looks like Berserker going to move in there. He's got uh, repair bots and and the protective field. EMP though uh, makes him unable to use those abilities. 350 potential energy uh, and the Alpha GC. Only does uh, you know drains two hundred of that. That's enough right now. The lion cage moving up there. We got a uh, you know back to lobby using that uh, cypher energy to try to do some extra uh, you know energy drain abilities right now. But it looks like they're going to be able to push. Going to be able to push. He's going to have to retreat. He can't quite make it back to base. And he's gone. Uh, back to lobby killed by Luke and uh, lion cage right now. Looks like uh, everybody's flying around for Sarah as well. And uh, can I see? Uh, try to do enough. He has uh, that's my next one. He can finally use. It. He's going to wait until the um. Uh, you know, everything is, is done if he possibly can. And there we go. Now we see the play. Now we see the electromagnetic storm on uh, on Versaire. Lightning Cage staying very close right now, just trying to use that protective uh, you know uh, uh, damage right now from the explosive charge. And will that be enough? He's gonna dive in there. He's gonna take so much damage, and will he use it again? Oh, not quite enough. He's also gonna be hurt. Will he be able to be protected though? He's got one, two, three healers on him. One, two, three healers actually using their healing. And Agrippa takes out Darkman. 
he was trying to finish off uh, Lining Cage. Lining Cage is a uh, 28 base armor, plus he was getting a little bit of healing from, uh, from Ghetto, then from uh, 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 Blaze of Koro, then from uh, Alpha GC as well. It looks like these side little Tempests are going to do some damage. It looks like Parasite getting uh, EMP'd. Lining Cage flying in there. He doesn't even have repair bots. His only way of, uh, you know, uh, surviving right now is because of the, uh, because of his allies right now. He will slowly start burning down. It's going to burn down the, uh, the, the shields first before the hull. And he's going to have to get on back to base. 524 though, with so many pickups. First there, moving up. And the red side, moving back. Get OSC, warping back to base. Alpha GC, uh, Blades of Koro, and, uh, Iron Cage going to just kind of, uh, you know, fly back. Hooks like Blaze of Koro is going to try to give a little bit of extra shield love and protection to uh, to Lining Cage. Parasite has still the force field. 425, 488 money. Spend his money. At least he got back to base. Buy something cool. Uh, he's got a Versailles to protect. Uh, he doesn't want to you know, just let that happen. Looks like uh, Alpha GC is going to make it back with 520 and uh, Lining Cage 576. Looks like the red side is going to try to make a pickup right now, but that's not quite enough. They, uh, Luke does warp in there. He's got defensive shield. He, does, he has just enough energy to use it almost right now, uh, and that is going to be uh, something. He's also getting a little bit of a uh, you know, uh, chrono boost from Luke. Uh, Get out, see, moves in there, does use his, uh, his uh, stasis field on uh, Versaire. Parasite moving back. Wants to uh, you know protect his allies. Doesn't want to die though. And Luke does so much that uh, the uh, force field does block the missile shots. Uh, so uh, Luke can't kill them off, and he doesn't have any ability to really force his way through the missile shots. But uh, Parasite didn't want to risk that right now. First air using that protective field, and it looks like he's going to get a little bit of shields, a little bit of damage. Everything is attacking him though. And will First air make it back to base? He has such little help. Lion Cage is just going to stay in there, use his uh, explosive charge, and will this be enough? He does take up one more kill right there. Parasite taking a whole bunch of damage as well, and I think this is going to be game. Um, there we go. Now uh, that is going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is a super short, short one. Um, Make sure to send your replays to MuffinMayCasting at gmail.com. Press like, press subscribe. We are doing StarCraft Star Battle all the time.